What's shaking, everybody? It's Mr. Scary Muffin. We're back with another Minecraft creation done in the snapshot that is uh, 13w03a. And last time we were working on, <clears throat> excuse me, a chicken cooker here, and I was using a despawn timer with the dispensers uh, to keep track of 20 minutes just before the chickens uh, grow up and can be cooked. And basically how that worked was that uh, the suspenser will fire an item. When that despawn, the next one will fire an item. And when that one despawns, it takes about five minutes to despawn, etc., etc. It'll cause, uh, it'll be a little timer to keep track of. Problem with the dispenser, um, <clears throat> one, we have to refill the dispenser eventually because we are losing the items that we're putting in there. And second of all, Dinnerbone has hinted that dispensers will be changing uh, in functionality in the next update, so I'm going to try to avoid. Why can't I fly? I'm going to try to avoid using dispensers in most of my creations uh, right now. There we go. So what we have here is a little invention uh, I saw from Settling's video. Basically, it is a hopper timer, and it's based on Ethos design. So it went from Ethos to Settling <clears throat> all the way over to here. Uh, basically, what happens is that this is filled with items and the hopper is going to feed into the next hopper but because this one is still full the comparator stays on and uh, causes this repeated to power which will prevent this hopper from moving items to the next hopper until this one is empty and it takes about a little under two minutes for this hopper to completely empty and allow the next one to flow into the next one um, that way a full cycle here is about uh, I think seven and a half minutes or under seven and a half minutes. So seven and a half minutes is great, but the problem with the hopper timer, I realize, is that it's a little bit hard to stack. You can't really expand beyond this little circle. Uh, I tried different designs you can see over there. Um, basically, the simplest idea I had was to use a memory state uh, with a threshold basically to keep count and originally I was working with uh, RS NOR latches and other memory state circuits but I decided that the simplest thing to do would be to rebuild this hopper timer and instead what I did was I kept just only a few items inside uh, this clock has already cycled twice since I last spoken and basically what happens is this redstone torch underneath is hooked up over to this piston over here and every time this clock cycles, it's going to hit this piston and momentarily the, the energy is going to go through to the circuit, um, but then because the piston lifts the block up, it will only pulse this circuit here. It won't keep it on forever. And so this torch will only flick on and off, uh, flick off and then back on just long enough for one item to pass through. And so basically I have four items in total in these in um, the original hopper. So once this has cycled four times, then it will finally reach this output over here uh, for the clock. So basically what I've created here is a easily expandable clock. Uh, I mean, if you fill up the entire hopper, you get about seven and a half minutes. And then if you fill this thing up, it's going to take forever before it finishes cycling through. Uh, but you can adjust by removing different items here. You can adjust to make this uh, a five minute cycle and then you, by the number of items you put into this hopper you can determine how many times it needs to cycle through those five minutes before the output gets reached and then once the output gets reached it's going to hit back uh, into this main hopper again and you can repeat the same thing I did over here and use another pulse uh, piston and of course I'm using the piston namely only as a pulse generator. You can also just use a pulse circuit. It requires about a 3 by 7 uh, horizontal space to complete. And then if you use a pulse circuit instead of a piston, it'll be completely noiseless. It will not make any noise at all. I'm just using the piston because uh, it is quieter. And uh, if you want to see what a pulse circuit looks like, do just take a look at the Minecraft wiki, uh, the, the redstone circuit area. They have several designs that you can choose from. And there it goes. So it just fired and you saw the pulse go um, and it sent one item through. So now there's three on that side. All right, so I'm going to show you guys uh, quickly how to build just this clock. If you want to know more, you can also check out Settling's video. Uh, I'll show you how to build just this hopper circuit. This is exactly the same with just the addition of this redstone uh, torch there. So very easy. You set four hoppers that are feeding into each other. You always use your shift click, obviously. 
and like so. And anywhere uh, this hopper feeds into that hopper. So I'm going to put the comparator here so that the circuit feeds into the hopper that it's feeding into, if that makes any sense. So, And then we just repeat that four times all the way around. Very easy to build. I really like this design because it's so simple. Whoops. Um, and it's really easy to remember as well. You don't have to uh, worry about anything as long as you just remember how it works. All right, so we have the clock circuit going around here now. And what I did to make the pulse, piston, repeater, and just to make sure that the pulse sticks around long enough to blink the torch, um, I'm going to put the repeater here at full delay, just so that it will flash long enough for the torch to actually to blink. Um, if you don't put the long delay, then the torch may not blink at all. But yeah, so that's basically the setup, and you just rebuild this exact same clock on top of this torch starting, um, starting right here with that hopper. So, and that will be the one that uh, is a threshold one. All right, and that's basically it, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, uh, do leave a thumbs up or a comment. I do love reading them comments. And if you have uh, any requests for stuff you'd like to see built, just let me know. Anyways, take care. See you guys next time. Bye.